Welcome back to another episode of Baking with Lexi. Today I'm going to show you how to make a flourless chocolate cake. But I have a very special guest to help me with this. Welcome in my cousin, Emily! What's up everybody? If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and give us a thumbs up. We're going to be making flourless chocolate cake. And why are we going to be making flourless? Because I have celiac, so I can't have gluten. Exactly. So just because you have celiac disease doesn't mean you have to skimp on flavor. This cake is going to be really good. Yes, I'm so excited. The nice thing about this flourless chocolate cake is that it's gooey, decadent, and wonderful. <laughs> All right, so to get started with this cake, what we're going to do, we got eight eggs. I cracked them. <laughs> she did. She did great cracking Thank you. them. <laughs> so what we're going to do is take the eight eggs with the whisk attachment and just let it whip for about eight minutes. So we'll start it on slow. You don't want to like fling it everywhere. Watch me in a. Watch me whip. Now, if you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, that's okay. You can use a hand mixer. Still whip it for about eight to 10 minutes. This is what you want your egg mixture to look like. A light pale color yellow and nice and foamy and about tripled in size. Next, what we're gonna do while the eggs are whipping is take one pound of chocolate and a half a pound of butter and we're gonna melt this together. And eat it plain. <laughs> well, with the cake. With the cake, yeah, that's what I meant. You can eat it plain. Okay, thanks. Um, so we used a half, half a pound of dark chocolate because my cousin loves dark chocolate. And then we used a half a pound of semi-sweet chocolate chips, so. Sounds um, good. When we were melting the chocolate, what you did was in 30 second increments. It took about a minute, minute and a half. Now, if your chocolate seizes up, this is what you do. Ours didn't, ours is perfect. Now, doesn't mean that it always turns out perfect for me. Trust me, I've had issues before. What you do to get it to unseize is take some of your chocolate chips and just fold in a couple and it'll temper the chocolate back to the perfect consistency. Yeah. Oh, that makes so much sense. So if you over melt your chocolate, have no fear, don't throw it out. Oh. Just take a few chocolate chips and fold it in until it gets smooth again. Don't ever throw out chocolate. Never. <laughs> that is against rules. It's against everything. Yes. All right, our chocolate is ready now. So I'm just whisking it really quickly because then you get the butter nice and incorporated in. So what we're gonna do now is we've got our cake pan. We got a nine inch cake pan. I'm gonna take, I sprayed it with non-cook, non-stick spray. Either one. Whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're gonna take some cocoa powder. It's gluten free, of course. And we're just gonna sift it onto the cake pan so Other that- question. Yeah. Why do you sift in the first place? Um, so because there's clumps. See all these clumps? Yep, I yeah. do. There's a lot of clumps. Oh, it's because this cake is really delicate mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't flip out super great. Okay. So if you put some cocoa powder on, or you can put parchment down, but I don't have any parchment, so I'm just using some cocoa powder. Yeah, so I like that idea better. So now I want a sifter in every size. <laughs> they do come in all sizes. I know, that's... Our egg mixture went for about 10 minutes. We just let it whip itself up. Mm -hmm. So I used unsalted butter because I didn't have salted butter. So all you got to do is take a little bit of salt. We're going to do a half a teaspoon of salt. Love it. Okay. Look at you. Just put it in my hand. You're a pro. So, mm -hmm. And we'll dump it right into the bowl. So I'm going to let you go ahead and fold in the chocolate mixture. Okay. So when we do this, we don't want to break down our eggs that we just whipped up. So you're going to just dump a little bit in at a time. I'm nervous. It's okay. Don't be okay. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, you dump. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you just want to fold it in gently. So just fold it over itself like this. So. Oh, it's magical. So Wait, why are we, why are we doing it slow? Because you don't want to break your eggs down because the egg is what is making it rise. Okay. Because we don't have any flour, we don't have the baking soda, stuff like that. That's right. gonna give it the volume. Ooh. And you want your chocolate to be a little bit cooled. You don't wanna add hot chocolate to cold eggs because then you're gonna have scrambled eggs and nobody wants a scrambled nobody egg Nobody wants cake. scrambled egg cake, so. Stop it. Nobody wants scrambled egg cake. Nobody wants scrambled egg cake. Okay, we got our chocolate all mixed together. Looks great, but we're missing one ingredient, the coffee. Stop it. 
coffee and chocolate. I love coffee so much. Why coffee? So coffee brings out the flavor of chocolate. It intensifies the chocolate. See? So it's only going to be better now. That's why we love both. We got a fourth a cup of coffee. It's just black, strong. So then we'll just fold this right in as well and it'll be ready to bake. So we're gonna go ahead and fill in our nine inch cake pan, about half full with the mix. I'm concentrating very hard. You're doing so great. Thanks. Are you a professional? No. <laughs> Have you done this before? No. That's beautiful. It's perfect. Is that half full? That's great, yeah. Now our cake is ready to go in the oven. We're gonna bake it at 350. Great news, we have some extra batter. Totes. So what we're gonna do is I've got these little ramekins. So cute. So cute. So we're just gonna make some individual. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you give us a little what we did? We get a whiskey, we get a whiskey. We dump the chocolate in the chocolate in and have a little bit just to make sure it tastes good. To make sure it tastes <laughs> Don't forget to sift. Don't forget. Look at the sift. Hey, that was good. That is that a sift. That is a sift. Mm -hmm. That's a sift. Use that at a wedding. I think you should. Our cakes came out of the oven. It took 21 minutes for the uh, nine inch. It looks perfect. It looks amazing. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lovely ramekin one. These took about oh, 12 minutes gosh, to bake. They're just so cute. So these are perfect for little individual uh, dinner parties. If you have those, mm -hmm. do you have those? No! <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe you should. I you should. should. I should. Because and I will. Already I know. I don't like to share my dessert though, so yeah. that's why I would make the individuals, but then this one, the big one would be mine. There you go, that's great. Mm -hmm. And what about like powdered sugar? Oh girl, we're not done yet. Oh my gosh! They have to cool down. They have to cool down. Yeah. So you can make these today yes. and serve it tomorrow. Stop. So it's nice because then you can be ahead of the game. I love it. I'm never ahead of the game. This will help me. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. So these are really best if you refrigerate them overnight. Wicka wicka subscribe! That was, that was on point. <laughs> okay, our cake is cooled. It's ready, got it uh, flipped out. So we're going to take some powdered sugar now and top it. You could also make like a chocolate ganache too. Yes. Look at that sifter again. Sifter. Winner. The sifter is the winner. It really is the of winner the day. day. So if you have a crack like we had on ours, it doesn't matter. Look at that. Powdered sugar is going to cover it right up. Still. Take some berries. Got some fresh strawberries, fresh blueberries. Put that right in the center. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes, yes. Baller. Shot caller. So good. Now comes my favorite part. It's taste test time. So excited. Here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh. And it's gluten free. Oh. I can't. I'm so sad for you all that you're not eating this right now. <laughs> that means you just need to make it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Oh my! Well, we're gonna go ahead and finish ours. Mm -hmm. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Baking with Lexi. Bye! Bye. Bye. Bye.